what you're going to want to do is cut you some stickers. And what we call stickers is basically sticks of wood that are the same dimension. They don't have to be the same each way. It does make it easier if they're three quarter by three quarter or inch and a half by inch and a half. Because when you lay them on here, you have no doubt that you've got three quarter all going the same way or inch and a half or whatever they might be. You don't want to have a three quarter one here, an inch and a half here, a five eighths here. Your board's going to be definitely not straight. And that's what this is going to pre prevent is your boards from warping, cupping, which is this way. Um, it does take roughly a year per inch for lumber to dry. Now with the pine family, which is spruce, it seems to be, you know, six to eight months it's ready to work with. Now if you're doing furniture that might be different, but uh, I have also built, built with green lumber, so... Um, we're just going to go over and, uh, and we're going to stack some lumber. Now what I've did is I've, all my stickers here are the same size and you see I've continued to row so that way all the pressure is in the same spot all the way down. You wouldn't want to do one here and, put pr and not have any below it. It's going to put pressure here and make these boards sag right here. So roll a thumb. Just keep all your stickers in a straight row up and down. Okay, I do mine about a foot and a half apart. Some people say I'm doing too many. Well, look at my boards when they're dry. Straight as a line. So, screw them. I've got them all the way down through here, every foot and a half apart, and about three inches from each end. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my next boards on top of the pile. And which these are real nice boards. They're about 13 and a half inches wide, 7 eighths thick. And the reason we went with 7 eighths is because we're going to plane them down for B boxes. And uh, it just saves a lot of planer time. If you only had to take off an eighth inch instead of a quarter. Now, if you have a kiln, this is a good place to uh, to stack your lumber is in the kiln. Now if you don't have a kiln, which I do have, but it's full of cedar. And I don't want this in there mixing it together. It's, it's not real big. So either way, I'm going to stack this outside and you could take sheets of metal and cover the top and leave the sides open. I'm going to take a tarp and just cover it and then take some old scrap pieces of wood and hold the tarp down. I'll lay out my next row of stickers. Now these ones are a little bit bigger, but they all in this row will all be the same size, which is the most important thing. That's how you lay out your stickers. If this information has helped you, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I got a lot more cool sawmill videos if there's anything you would like to see in a sawmill video don't be afraid to ask I'm out here in the mill working all the time I wouldn't mind throwing a video or answering a few questions alright thanks a lot